Well, I'm with uh, Linda Quinn, who's Director of Communications and Marketing at uh, Big Lottery Fund, and as part of that, champion of uh, people-powered change. And just uh, reading off what it says on the website, uh, people-powered change launched earlier this year, and it says, in 2011 and beyond, Big will use its size, reach, knowledge, networks, and credibility as a platform to champion new approaches to people-powered change, and that you'll work alongside communities, partners, and government to support community-led um, action. And, and indeed, John Popham and I uh, are helping with an exploration of where people-powered change might go by acting as social reporters, seeing who's on the landscape, seeing where the bright ideas are. Thanks very much for the opportunity to do that. Um, and it's a, you know, so it's a delightfully open process in that sense, but there's, there, there must be a vision behind that of what you would like to uh, achieve. Yes, there is. Um, I, I think that vision is to think about lottery funding in a new way. So as well as making small grants available to communities, we wanted to think about how you join up uh, those individuals who are doing great things in their community and how do you enable sharing and learning and it, it struck uh, me and other colleagues that uh, surely there's got to be a way that you can use lottery funding as a kind of catalyst to bring people together to encourage communities themselves to exercise their own skill and ability and harness community uh, power through bringing individuals together to make a real difference to their community. Um, because it's, it struck me, I'm based in, in London, I get invites to events with Big and Nesta and Your Square Mile and other people who are partners at, at, at senior level in people power change. And people kind of know what's going on there, everybody says, have you heard about this, that, the other and so forth. But as soon as you get out um, talking with the local group or even the local council, people don't necessarily know what's going on. So we have all this media, we have all this social media, but the connections are not being made. It sounds like you want to do something about that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's been one of the frustrations. Um, as, as the big lottery fund, on average, in any given year, there are 24,000 projects in assessment in grant management. And you've got to think about each of them is doing different things in a different way in a different community, but there has to be a way that you exchange that learning and enable people to see where mistakes have been made before, but also to learn from great things that have been done and to really grow those community assets by joining people up. And there are different ways you can do that. Um, one of the ways is uh, through engagement, through social media and through uh, web-based storytelling. Another is um, identifying where really great work has happened and, and using those examples to take almost physically into other communities to demonstrate what people can really do once they've got a vision and get the sleeves rolled up and uh, get on with it. So People Power Change, in a sense, I see as not a grant programme. We have a number of grant programmes that enable communities to do different things. One of those is Awards for All, which is a low level 300 quid up to 10,000. Uh, and many people apply for that. But th there are other things that can be done, I think, with lottery funding. And one of those is to identify a need uh, and then think about which organisations would be best placed to deliver the support across the whole uh, picture um, for community groups to use those tools to draw down. And that was one of the reasons we gave uh, that the Media Trust um, got a grant from the Big Lottery Fund was to empower communities to be better equipped to tell a story. Um, and the reason you do that from a lottery funder's point of view is to raise awareness um, of the great work that communities are doing but also to raise awareness that it's been done with lottery funding and that that lottery funding is available for communities um, to access in order to be able to make a difference in their community. And that can be in all sorts of different ways. It can be from uh, renovating pieces of old waste ground uh, through to uh, healthy activities. Um, so I, I think that there's 
a frustration of ours is we, we don't have the marketing budget of a big corporate to be able to tell those stories ourselves. But I guess, nor should we, I think it is important that people themselves uh, take uh, responsibility um, for their own environment because I think it's only when that happens that things will change for the better. So as you said, um, you're supporting Media Trust, um, Your Square Mile, um, Nesta Young Foundation, Unlimited, um, all of whom have their capability for um, helping people share ideas and they can support ideas. Um, but you're also, it sounds, wanting more bottom-up storytelling from uh, community groups. Um, obviously directly if they can get to meet each other, you'll maybe convene some events, but also um, using social media. Are you seeing potential in the way in which people are doing local blogging, hyper-local blogging, just using their phones very often? Can, is there a way in which you can encourage networking there? I, I think so, and I, I think one of the excitements for me around working with the partners was to start thinking about how, how can you co-design things that would be more than a grant programme, that would engage with individuals and communities themselves to help us as a lottery distributor to shape what we might do next. And I think that it's a path, if you like, and um, the awards, the initial awards under People Powered Change to those partners you've described is really only the beginning. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's then about okay, what's the learning from that? Because some of it's pilot activity, some of it's identifying really brilliant social entrepreneurs who may uh, develop uh, some enterprise that will have a, a great benefit in the community. But again, what, what other ways are there that we could actually get money into communities, particularly those that are seriously disadvantaged, um, that's beyond relying on a few individuals getting together and making the application for a grant? And so I think that through uh, the power of blogging and social media and creating sort of noise, I'd like to think that you can take those ideas from the kind of ether of uh, social media reporting and, and web-based activity into uh, real community activism and making a difference on the ground. So I see tools, especially ones that are kind of web-based or apps, mm. um, really where they add benefit is where they're really useful to organisations in order to be able to do things in their locality. 